Okay, you, okay, so can you put your way back machine boots on and remember back when you won Rookie of the Year and articulate what it feels like to win that and now watching Nafisa win? Uh, it was an amazing feeling, uh, especially for me. I had Cappy Poindexter there was uh, second, just like Arike and uh, Nafisa in their, their run for the Rookie of the Year. Uh, but once you accomplish that, it's just the confidence booster, the, motiva the motivation that you need to know that you belong, that you can actually uh, do what's necessary to help your team win and excel at this level. So uh, I expect to see great things from Nafisa from this day forward. I know you know how special she is, but did you know how special she was when she first walked in the door? Yeah, I could tell. I've been saying it all year, just her maturity level and the way that she approached every day of practice, every day, every game, you know, never complaining, always just getting it done, um, working on whatever it was. You heard her say she struggled guarding, de defending the three this year, and every day she would get in and try to figure out new ways to try to defend the three and make her life a little bit easier on the floor, a little bit easier for our team. So that's a maturity level that's rare to see in a rookie, um, you know, during their, their first stint in, in the professional ranks. Given how much time you've invested with her and you've kind of had this mentor relationship with her. How satisfying is it for you, not just for the year she had, but to get this award today? I know, I feel like a coach or something. Like, like, oh man, it feels good to see, you know, like you said, someone that I felt like I mentored a lot this year, just staying in her ear, giving her the confidence boost that she needed, or just directing her in a way that she needed to go to continue to be successful. So it is like, you know, you feel proud, like a super proud moment to, to see your teammate excel. and and do great things. Isn't it just like her too to do her speech and just leave the stage thinking nobody wants to talk oh, to yeah, her? Yeah, that's me, that's me. Like she doesn't see um, what she's done. Like she appreciates it definitely, but she doesn't know the magnitude of what, what she just accomplished and the, the people that she uh, share history with. You know, Tamika Ketchins, Maya, and all those players, all those greats that came before her, she, it doesn't even process in her head. She was like, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> like I have it now. Despite the fact that, you know, there were so many vets on this team and the unknown of Maya, if we didn't know if she was coming back or not. How much did Nafisa kind of step into that, you know what, I might need to do more, and she was able to do that? I don't even know if she knew she needed to do more. She just kind of played her game, and it fit perfectly into what we needed. You know, the uncertainty with not having Maya here, and that's a big blow to the team and not knowing if Nafisa would develop or whatever player was going to play that, that position would develop into what we needed. Um, it was great to just see that growth and great to see how she excelled, was able to figure out how to use her body and her length and, you know, things as, as the season went on. That was amazing to see. There's this narrative about she being kind of quiet. Um, like Coach was just saying that she really also became a really strong leader in the locker room and kind of stepped up. Can you talk a little bit about how kind of how she grew in that department? Um, just vocally, she um, she started to speak up a little bit more about maybe the things that she was seeing on the floor, or just motivationally, mm -hmm. just getting after it, uh, getting after players, or you know, getting after the, the idea of what we need to do as far as competing. You can see you seen that happen, like as she started to unfold. Like every person that you like quiet and shy really has that other side to them. It just takes a little bit of time to to crack the shell, and allow them to be open. And so by midway point, you know, of the season, you start to see her open up and feel more comfortable with us. With her kind of at the center of things, how confident are you in the direction of this franchise moving forward? How confident are you in it? You're pretty confident. Yeah, yeah, I'm very confident in it. Um, you know, we have, like I say, a great foundation of young players uh, mixed with a good combination of vets and with free agency and other things. Like, things just always happen to kind of fall in our way. Look how we acquired Waylon Bronson. Like, the stars align for whatever reason. I guess we've been doing good in life, uh, but we're starting to get great karma. So uh, I think we're still in the right direction. Obviously, we wouldn't want to be seven or eight, but in the position as far as playoffs, but we are looking to get back to where we are one and two and kind of waiting for our opportunity to play in the playoffs on next year. Well, I know it's early. How much are you looking forward to next year? Do you want to come back next year? Oh, you try to slide that one in. Oh, that was a good way to slide. That was a great way. Um, I'm looking looking forward to coming back. Um, you know, obviously, what I think what you're hinting at is if I'm coming back or not. Like, I don't know. I have to see what my body tells me. That's what professional athletes go off of because our mind is strong. We feel like we could do anything at any time, but your body is what kind of tells you whether it's time to, to move on or not. So either way, I'm going to always be here for the team. I'll be here supporting in whatever way, but I hope to be playing next season.